Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jay. Welcome back to my channel of Jay Rebuilds, and today we're gonna be unboxing Gear Wrench Seven Piece Hammer and Dolly Set. I didn't know about this kit until I saw it in a catalog. I was like, huh, I'm gonna try it out. So for a hundred bucks on eBay or Amazon, wherever you shop, I, I would give it a shot. Um, I don't really like the. I'm not a big fan of the Harbor Freight kit, but it'll get the job done. And sometimes it's not about how smooth it is, if it's a snap on or not. It's about your technique, your skill, and how you hammer down. So let's open this kit. Let's see what's inside and. So guys, for the price of this kit, it is not bad. Here, here is the part number, and it costs about a hundred bucks, maybe a little bit under with shipping on eBay. I will leave you guys the link below on more information or video description so you guys can check it out. So as you guys could see, it has like some type of clear coat on the surface of it. I'm not a big fan of that, so I most likely will shave it off with some sandpaper because I like the metal to metal feel. Uh, it all depends on you and your preference on how you like it, but you can see how this one's flat square and then the other side is just round perfectly. It's not at an angle, so it's pretty good. It feels good. It feels light. Look at my hand. It's nice and dirty. <laughs> it has undercoating on it. So with these, you got to be very careful because if you don't hit it right on the square surface, it will make marks on your panel instead of helping you do your metal work. But overall, it feels good. It has hickory wood handle. At least that's what it says on it. Here is the most, one of my best ones. You can see the rounded edges, which is not bad. I really like that. It makes my job easier. And for the pick right here, it's not too sharp. I think it is perfect right there. Feels good too, so not bad. You can see the gear wrench logo on them right there. And the next hammer is the shrinking hammer and it's nice and square. I rarely use this one um, because I feel like it makes more marks than actually pulling out dents or whatever. This one's nice and flat round with rounded edges. This one's very nice as well, especially when you're trying to flatten out the panels. So let's check out the dollies. What I did notice about the dollies, they're a lot better quality than the Harbor Freight ones. Uh, they do have that clear, it looks like a clear coating, uh, which I'm not a big fan of. But they're a nice size, nice weight, uh, smooth finish. And check it out, you could beat it up on different angles. Um, on this one as well, I did, didn't really like the red too much, but I like that it has multiple surface angles, which you could work to work your metal. On this side, it doesn't have anything, so you're gonna have to ruin the paint or, do, or shave it off or do something. <laughs> but it's a nice weight, nice size. This is one of my go-tos for a lot of projects because you could beat it on all angles. It has a flat surface, it has a and it has a rounded surface, and then it has the flat surface on the side for when you do your quarter panels and all that. This one is mainly used or I use it for uh, door skins. It makes it has that angle perfect for the door skins and some quarter panels, not all, but they're all a good size and a good weight. And for the price, I am gonna have to test them out at work in a professional environment, see how they hold up compared to a Snap-on or a Matco or whatever the hype is on the other bigger, more expensive sets. So guys, um, I bought this kit so I could work on my projects at home so I won't have to bring my hammers from work and forget them at home or forget on my work and uh, yeah so I just bought an extra kit for 100 bucks I was like let's try it out let's see what happens uh, so far it looks good I don't like that clear coat on the hammers um, I think that 
when they have clear coat like that, once you start hammering down, it doesn't feel natural as a hammer that's bare metal. So I think I'm just gonna sand it down, sand it off, and make sure it's just a pure steel. And then on the other, that hammer that you saw that has sharp edges, I think I'm gonna grind it down so it could be a little bit rounded off versus flat surface 100%. So guys, if you guys like this video, give it a like, comment below, let me know if you guys have this kit, have you tried it, what do you think of it, is it worth it? Um, as soon as I get my hands on it and work, I'm actually going to take it to work tomorrow and try it out, test it out, see how it feels, get a feel for them, and then I will make a review and let you guys know what I think of it in a professional setting or at a home setting. And So guys, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next video.